Hi, and welcome back to Sparkle Peanut Designs. This sketch was a really unique one, and it was a little bit more difficult, and so I decided to be a little creative. So there I'm marking out where the uh, centers of the circles are going to be. I'm using this Martha Stewart circle cutter to use it just to create my circles because then I knew they were exactly the size I wanted them to be. From there, I'm going to try some something I've never tried before and it's it it works. That's the reason you have the video. So right now I'm going to put gesso in the circles. Well, I'm going to start with the alcohol ink, but it didn't work as I wanted. So then I'm going to come in with some gesso and I'm going to gesso the circles. I wanted to know if you had to use Yupo or plastic paper or if gesso or acrylic matte medium would work. So this is me just painting the circles in and once they're painted in, I am going to use my heat tool to dry it. But I'm wanting to just gesso the circles, just that barrier there, because I'm wanting to keep the alcohol ink in the circles. So I'm gonna quickly heat dry it, which I think I've, I've cut out most of it. And when the gesso is dry, I'm going to then use my alcohol and I have it in a fine line bottle. Now that being said, you're going to see about halfway through when I realize my fine line bottle, the lid is not the right size and it is spilling everywhere. It, it still turns out okay. I just had to be a bit creative at the end, but I am making sure that the alcohol stays in the circle. And then I'm putting the ink in the alcohol. It doesn't move as much as say on a Yupo paper, but it doesn't soak in so it still does move. So you use a little bit more alcohol ink and it definitely stays a lot bolder than if I was to use that plastic coated paper. Now I am using a tool that I had bought many years ago because I thought it was cool and I've never actually used it as it was used, supposed to be used. And I was going to get rid of it, um, but here I am using it and it's um, a Ranger airbrush tool. So basically there's a spot on the side where you put a alcohol marker or a felt pen and then you can squeeze the air to squeeze the ink onto the paper. I've never used it, but when I started looking at wanting to do some alcohol ink, I'm like, wait, I have this air blower. And so that's what I've been using for the alcohol ink and it works really quite well. Um, it, it's a lot more directional and a lot smaller than, than the other Tim Holtz alcohol blower, um, but I feel like it works really well. So as you're seeing, I'm just alcohol and alcohol ink and blowing. Alcohol, alcohol, ink and blowing. The more alcohol you put in it, the more um, transparent it becomes. And so I've skipped the second one because, like, honestly, they're all three are the same. But you see, when I kept the alcohol right in the gesso, how we could get it around the circle. I really love how it did. Now, when I was doing this, I had no idea what layout I was going, what I was going to use this for. I just wanted to play with alcohol inks and I wanted to play to see if I could make it work with gesso. And when I got about halfway through the second, I'm like, these 100% look like globes. Um, and so I really tried to make it look like the green of, of the, of the earth tones and then the, the blue of the oceans. And so, yeah, I'm, I went back into the other one just to lighten it up, create it just that little bit more dimension to make it look like. Now, as you can see, the alcohol is going all over the place because it was leaking out of the bottle. So at one point I find another fine line lid that 
doesn't leak. So it works better. But that leakage caused um, <clears throat> the alcohol ink to kind of spread out beyond the earth that I wanted. And so you'll see in the finished product, I'm going to cut out the earths and then attach it onto um, the, the layout, onto a different piece of pattern paper. This video is going to be in the process of seeing me alcohol ink these. Uh, you're also going to see me figure out some foiling uh, in this video, but there's uh, a next part. I came back to it later. And then the end of the video is just going to be me sharing the layout because I didn't record pulling it all together as a layout. So again, I'm still just alcohol, alcohol ink, and blowing. Just moving the ink to where I want it to go. It really is a fun and soothing kind of thing. It's different than any other mixed media. Um, alcohol ink, unfortunately, really is you get what you get. You can move it a little bit. You can make it a little bit. But at the end of the day, it really is you get what you get and just becoming um, okay with it. And I really do like how these globes turned out. And I really do like the finished product of the whole layout. I don't know how many times I can say alcohol, alcohol ink, and blow. Okay, next, I decided I wanted to put some um, foiling actually on the globes. And by that time, the ink had already dried more than I could just get it to stick to the ink. Um, because alcohol ink can be quite sticky when it's semi-dry. So what I use is I used my Tombow Mono Multi glue and I just spread it into a variety of sections. I'm going to let it dry so that it's tacky. It's not really white anymore. It gets clear, but it's still tacky. And then I'm just going to push the gold foil. It's more of a copper foil into the glue and it's going to just pick up little pieces so it'll give it more of a um, a gold leaf effect versus that I'm foiling it specifically. So I'm just pushing the foil into the tacky glue. Sometimes it, it didn't um, sat quite as much so it didn't hold it and pick it up as much as I wanted so I just would wait and put it on top some more. And you can see it just gives you that nice metallic look in certain places without it being the entire globe being metallicized. It's a fun and neat addition to the alcohol ink. So now we're back for the second step, which I've used this background paper. I believe it's another Craft Smart paper from a travel collection. And I'm using the Martha Stewart circle cutter again. And I'm using a glue pen. So there's glue coming out. You can't you can see the little sheen there a little bit, but I am moving the circle cutter just slightly because I want it to have overlapping circles that are a little bit bigger than the circles that I had used for the alcohol ink. And these ones are going off the page. So I'm doing all three circles with the glue pen and it does, it fits right into the slot where the blade is supposed to go and draw three circles each. Once I've drawn that, again, I'm gonna let the glue dry just a little bit to make it sticky. And then I'm going back to the deco foil in that coppery color. And I'm going to put it over top of the circles. And I'm gonna burnish it so that it really gets stuck into the glue circles. 
So using my hand to just really rub it into that glue, really get the, the adhesive to stick to the foil. I'm just checking how's it doing. Really trying to be more intentional now about where I am. Usually with foil, you can see where the adhesive is sticking. So now I'm starting to see it much better. And then when I reveal it, I've got these sketchy circles out of the foil. And I haven't had to use a laminator or anything like that. Just simply using the glue pen, letting it get tacky, and then adding on the foil on top of that. From there, I've cut out the globes and I am going to glue them on top of that paper so that they're going to nestle inside. <laughs> My tape runner is doing fantastic so you watch me be creative and just continue to use the adhesive as it is sticking on itself. But like I said, I'm a frugal scrapbooker so I'm going to use it until it is all of the adhesive is gone rather than throwing it away. And so once I've used, I think if I was to do this over again, I would start immediately with um, liquid adhesive. The texture of this background paper actually didn't keep the adhesive. So I, I do, at, um, when I'm building the entire layout, go in with some liquid glue to get it to stick better. But we've now stuck it in and we can see those foiled circles around the alcohol ink. Welcome back. I didn't film as a process the rest of it, so I thought I would just do a quick share. So you saw the alcohol ink that looked like globes. And then I used a glue pen and foil sheets to draw circles around the globes to give that extra line. I then die cut the adventure out of foam, but then I also had put some adhesive on it and used the same foil to foil that die cut. I used the thicker, small gold, let's go on and 2222 and the Dubai. I did use a kind of a bronzy metallic marker so that it can match the rest of the metallics. The UR here and the tag up there are from using the Heidi Swap toner ink. I stamped them, foiled them, and ran them through my Mini Mink. I also uh, had extra of the toner and foil, so I punched some little stars. Then the flowers and this globe were cut from a Craft Smart paper pad again a travel one and there is no photo because we are going to Dubai at the end of the month and I thought this would be a great title page for my album thanks and I hope you enjoy it and we'll see you next time bye